Okay, so you didn't get a review on Friday because I, I I think I was ill. I don't know what was wrong with me. Just for a few days, I just I was just zombie. Just I didn't feel that bad. I was just tired. So sorry you didn't get a review out of me then. But you're gonna get one now to make up for it. So we're gonna review Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy. Blah blah. blah. Golden Disc Autobot Jackpot with Autobot Sights. Da, 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 da. It's a box, it's got pictures, it's a thing. Yay, go over there. Ooh. Now, for those of you who don't know, well, two things you need to know, really. This is a remold of Jazz. The Studio Series 86 Jazz. Works for me. Second of all, this is based on an Action Master that never had a robot mode. But the Action Masters came with transforming buddies to do the transforming for them. Because, you know, that wasn't lame enough on its own. And this one comes with Sights, which is this thing. I believe this was a, like, orangey red and cream um, siege figure. Um, it turns into, like, a little axe. You know, you fold up the legs, flip over this bit, push the head in. And then just sort of bring these down a little bit. Oh, I've got a cat on my shoulders. Hello. Uh, since of that. That was a cat. You can... That's... Okay, let's move that before the cat ruins the box. If you keep an eye on that corner, you might see a cat eventually. So you get that and you hit things with it and that looks lame. But if you've got imagination, you can go, well, hang on. That's a nice long thing. And if you... There's a handle there. And if you squeeze these in a little bit... That could kind of look like you got. I mean, you could leave them out if you want. If you push them in, they tend to they seem to angle down because it doesn't want to go in that far. But whatever, it's fine. That kind of looks like the original sight's gun. We'll, we'll do that. It also comes with Jazz's gun. Now, the original sights uh, and jackpot, you could fix the gun to it, and I have not found a way to do that yet. It's this groove which it kind of will sit on, but it doesn't actually affixed to it, it won't attach properly. So if anyone's got any clever ideas, let me know. Uh, and there's one hole in the top, so you can put that gun, you can put that gun, so it's really silly like that. Or you can turn this into a birdie, to a, not like that. You're not the cast I was expecting, you're not supposed to be in this video. No, you're not supposed to be in this video, you need to go away. Go like this, back into its bird mode, and you can plug that into the roof. Like that. Yay! Okay, you need to go. Sorry. Sorry. Come on, out of the way. Go down there. Okay. Oh, and this thing comes with a stupid effect. Uh, I'm not going to go into big details. Um, if you use the... Uh, one of these little bits, that'll fit on Jazz's gun as well, there's a little hole in the back, you can go, ha ha! Oh, come on. Go, ha ha! Now it looks really stupid, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but apparently you're supposed to plug it in to these. I don't know which way around, uh, about that. That's supposed to be like a smashing effect of the axe. And the, yeah, just not a fan of those things. So that's sights, that's neat. Uh, he's got his gun, let's put it off to the side. Size comparison uh, Kingdom Paleo Trex, because he's very quickly becoming my little carry around play with toy, because he's fun. So, uh, he's a deluxe, but he's quite compacted down. Very well done. Okay, you go over there. Okay, should we transform it? Uh, I think I've only done this a couple of times, but so. Right, we need to pop the sides loose, uh, the sort of doors, so to speak. You need to come back here and detach this whole thing from the back section here. There are, if you see, see those two tabs there? One, two, little tabs there. They go into, well, inside there underneath. Let's get that loose. Now we can double hinge this all the way out. Double hinges there. Separate, and on the front here, there's this little tab. 
that goes into a slot there. So we'll push that into there. There you go. It takes a bit of force to put it in, so you know it locks. There you go. And we'll just flip a little toesy woesy. Did I give you a 360 of the car? Don't care. It's still pretty. Uh, now we need to sort of wriggle the arms loose a bit. Wriggle them loose. Rotate them all the way out. Rotate them all the way out. You might have to turn them a bit to get them past things as you're doing it. Okay. Get this top section and wriggle it loose. And this again, if you've seen the yellow there, it double hinges out. Okay. Now before we go too far, this red section needs to turn around. The easiest way to do that is to turn the actual whole waist around, then hold it in place, and then turn the waist back again. And this, uh, first couple of times I try transforming it, I'm like, well, what am I doing wrong? That needs to turn around to make space for the arms to fit. So, yeah, it's neat. Okay. Now we need to get this blank panel here, push it through. That'll allow us to shove the head up. And can it click into place yet? You just yeah, we'll bring it down. Okay. We're here so far, and the dogs are being idiots. It's like every time I try to record. Right. I'm gonna bring these down a bit, and this is gonna allow us to get this back piece here loose. There you go. And on this big yellow double hinge. And now one of the cats be stupid. Yay! I'm gonna fold that inside, fold these up, I'm gonna get these with the yellow stripe just to fold into that gap there. There you go. They don't tab, but that just keeps the doors from opening. So they're in place though. It's fine. You could floor polish it if you wanted to make it tighter. Push. It's, it's fine. Now let's just make sure the head's in place. Okay, let's rotate the arm down, flip out the hand. Turn the arm straight, down, oi, knock it off dogs, Ugh. down, rotate, and there we have jackpot in robot mode. Jackpot is the only action master I've kept after all these years, I've lost his sight, I've lost his own gun, but I still have the figure, I can't find him right now to do this review, but he's the only one I kept hold of after all these years since I originally got him, and this is just... Okay. Elephant in the room. Yes, the head's weird. Uh, the head seems to be slightly wonky. So I'm going to have to try and tidy that up myself. And hope I don't completely ruin the figure. Um... Yeah. There you go. Sorry. Right, okay. I missed a step out. Come loose, right? See this panel that's inside, the one that was the big black empty square? If you push that so far, it stops this head panel dropping in. Yee. The panel doesn't look comfy. Okay. It stops the head panel from going in too far, because it's now got something to sit on. And these grooves, these red tabs go into. So if we line it up. See that tab in there? There you go. It's locked into place nicely. Get those yellow bits back in there. There you go. And you know what? I'm happy with this. Uh, I know he's had different versions before, and yes, they've usually been jazzes. But this is pretty much perfect for me. I'm, I'm quite happy. I, I'm going to have to try and do something with that head. But if I can fix that, then this is absolutely spot on. Um... Let's give the thing. So we've got this. Uh, I'm not going to do the axe because I don't like the axe. So we're just going to turn it into a gun. Put that in one hand. Give him that. Again, he's only got the one port. Which is slightly irritating. It means you can't store the gun anywhere except for on his back. I mean, technically, sights he shouldn't need to store because he can fly around with him. So, you know, one gun, technically, yeah, sure. 
but no, it's a very pretty figure, honestly, genuinely very pretty. Uh, I'm not sure why the UK or, well, I think Canada have got it first and then I've got it for some reason, but very pretty figure. I'll give you a size comparison because I don't think he's very tall. Uh, Kingdom Scorponok. So, he's not that much bigger than Scorponok. But just look at the colours on him. Ah, oh, love him. Love him, love him, love him, love him, love him. Ah, uh, okie pokey. All right, let's just get, might as well get Paleo Tracks in because uh, he's a bit fun. Oh, I, I turned that around, by the way. So the peg's inside and it seems to fit a bit nicer. So turn that around. So there he is with Paleo Tracks and Scorponark. And uh, he doesn't come with a golden disc in the box, but who cares? It's not something I was ever going to use. So, yeah. If you can get a hold of him, he is beautiful. Uh, right, I'm going to have to scarf her because I need to eat and go to bed. So, I should be ugly, I should be wretched, and I shall see all of you in the next one. Bye!